Yeah, hello everybody. Here's the first video of original Xbox collectibles. And here we have a window suction cap kind of thing. Uh, a big X, about 13 by 13 inches with four suction caps. It's got an Xbox logo on both sides. And uh, these were popular for game stores. Uh, they could hang those on the windows and you could see them from both sides. Here is an Xbox mouse pad, and I think I got that at the Microsoft logo store where they were selling things uh, back in 2001. It's a nice, really thick, heavy felt material. It's got a rubber backing, um, very similar to some of the larger floor mats. Uh, I'll do a future video on the floor mats that you sometimes found in front of uh, kiosks. And uh, yeah, this is super nice. Uh, it's about uh, 11 by 19 inches. And um, yeah, really nice thick material. All right, uh, next up, we have these, um, hmm, yeah, I'm not sure what they are. So, well, first of all, they're clearly for the North American market, right? You have it in English and in French. And then if you open it up, you have some graphics there on the left and on the right. Project Gotham, Halo, of course. And then you have some uh, quiz questions in the middle. And you see that the launch date, uh, they put a sticker on top of that. So they must have changed that. There's some pockets. There might have been some catalogs or flyers that went in there. But I'm not quite sure what that was for. Uh, either way, it's also from 2001. And, uh, like I said, for the North American market. So if you know what that was, I'd love to see some help in the comments. This is the Making of Halo DVD. And this is something that I saw being handed out in some game stores back in 2001. And uh, on the back it says Making of Halo, uh, launched 2001 from Bungie. And then it's really nice artwork there, a kind of cardboard uh, piece. In the background, you see the uh, the cardboard piece still in shrink wrap. And then you can pop off the DVD, and it's just a regular DVD that you can play. And it's got an interesting background story there and how Halo came to be and all that. And uh, and I'll do maybe a video. Uh, I'll maybe do a video in the future. And uh, yeah, super nice, uh, nice graphics, nice artwork, and um, I think these are fairly uncommon. I don't see those too often, um, but great item for Halo collectors. And then, of course, you know, the Halo postcards or the Halo cards that um, you see here. Again, super nice artwork, you know, very bright, uncover Halo's secret. Um, I think we know what that secret is, but... Um, yeah, really nice. Uh, they were handing those out back in 2001 as well, and there's a whole stack. So this one is a collectible I'm sure you have not seen before. These are Xbox Christmas cards. Xmas, Christmas, holiday greetings from Xbox, or happy holidays from Xbox, season greetings. And uh, there's a stack here on the right, still in shrink wrap. It's a big stack. Well, you know, that original rubber band has kind of decayed since that's 20 years old. But uh, that's kind of a nice item. And on the left, you see the envelopes that came with it. Unfortunately, I only have a small number of envelopes and uh, way more cards than that. But yeah, these are kind of cool. Uh, nice color scheme. And uh, I, I wonder if who got those cards for Christmas. If that was for uh, friends and, and, and uh, you know, co-workers or if that was for uh, developers. So here we have a couple stickers, and the first one is just kind of a regular paper sticker. I think that was really for game stores, and, and you know, people put those on the windows. Nothing special about that. Wait till you see what these bad boys can do. But the next two stickers are really, are really odd, and um, I could definitely use your help on those. Um, they're they're super thick, very nice quality. Um, they're about 8 by 14 inches, a really thick uh, kind of a top layer, uh, transparent top layer and on top of the graphics. And uh, I wonder if those were either for kiosks or if they were for floors, you know, like floor stickers you see sometimes in, in game stores. Super vibrant, very colorful, I mean, really nice detailed graphics here from, you know, Oddworld. 
and uh, I mean, you can see it's very nice. And uh, yeah, if you know what these were for, I'd love to see that in the comments. Uh, also, I'm not sure if that was done for all the launch games. I've only ever found one for uh, Munch and for uh, NFL Fever. But uh, if you have seen others, uh, I'd love to see those. So here we have some stickers that uh, were also handed out back in 2001. These are about five by seven. And uh, what's really nice about them is they have this kind of texture effect um, on the Xbox um, logo, on the word logo. Um, I saw these at more rally events. Um, I think I also got a few of them at all hands meetings and uh, they're super nice. I mean, that's really brilliant, brilliant green especially in daylight or in sunlight, uh, it really pops. And then the Xbox logo on top of that has also this kind of a metallic uh, to it. So really nice stickers. I have not seen those before, so I'm not sure if they're, they're kind of rare, but yeah, really nice. And uh, of all the different Xbox stickers that I've seen, these are probably my favorite ones, uh, super heavy quality as well. And I uh, wish I would have grabbed a few more back then. Here we have some original Xbox pens, also from 2001, and uh, I think these were also sold at the logo store or at the company store. Really nice, uh, they still work, you know, there's the post-it notepad that goes with it, and uh, which was also from the company store or the logo store. And um, yeah, these are pretty big, about five and a half inches long. And I grabbed a few of them back then, and for 20-year-old pens, they still work, and uh, they look rather nice. And that's kind of a file folder that goes with that. Um, you know, typical Xbox logo, kind of the, the white version of that, uh, green on the inside. Nice, um, you know, nothing special really, but uh, I don't think too many of those have survived. And uh, I think this, I'm not sure how I got that, but here we have some really cool items. These are some of the original Xbox ping pong balls from 2000, 2001. And you probably remember there was a demo where, you know, there's a whole bunch of mousetraps loaded with ping pong balls in a room. And it was kind of one of the demos and there was a few posters as well to show the power of the Xbox. And, uh, yeah, these were handed out at all hands events or morale events, and um, yeah, I managed to grab a few. These are real ping pong balls. Uh, some of them have yellowed a bit, but um, these are great. And uh, you don't see those too often, since, you know, they're somewhat fragile. I don't think too many of them have survived. But super nice, and uh, it's kind of cool. I'll show you a quick, uh, quick segment of that video. I'm sure you remember which one I'm talking about. Yeah, so there, that was uh, the demo with the ping pong balls, and those are the original ping pong balls. Okay, here we have stickers from the Xbox Odyssey tour. This was a tour that was done with two big trucks full of Xbox kiosks, where, you know, your TV and, and Xbox consoles... And they had um, inflatable tents, uh, these big round inflatable tents that have a DJ there and, you know, you could go in there and play. And uh, I think it was about around 100 Xboxes or so in there. I think I'll do a future video. I have some pictures of those trucks from about 20 years ago. And, um, yeah, there were uh, at least four locations that I know of. Phoenix, San Antonio, San Francisco, and... San Diego and it's kind of nice they're trying to give each of those locations a little bit of its own theme there with you know the Alamo for San Antonio and Phoenix with the rising Phoenix there um, and so yeah these stickers are 20 years old you know cheap paper stickers but still kind of cool nice to see those and I think those are all fairly fairly uncommon these days and then last we have a couple old stickers I mean these look a little dingy by now uh, a little yellowed. These were also some kind of cheap plastic stickers that were handed out back then at morale events or at all hands meetings. Um, so nothing really special, but um, there are some temporary tattoos. You can see, right? They're kind of mirrored. 
and uh, they still work. Uh, I tried them earlier, uh, so after 20 years, uh, they still stick, and as uh, the directions. And uh, those, I think, were also for sale in the company store back in 2001. Uh, and they were also, of course, handed out. And then uh, Sobe um, was also one of the sponsors of the Xbox or, or one of the partners of Xbox advertising back then. And so they also handed out temporary tattoos. And uh, there is the lizard logo. So, yeah, kind of cool. And, hey, for 20-year-old uh, temporary tattoos, it's nice they still work. Thank you for watching.